everyone, Clovia here and welcome back to the channel. So I'm really excited about today's video. It's going to be a little short, but it's still going to be really fun and I'm really curious as to what the result is. So if you guys have seen any of my YouTube shorts that I post on occasion, usually I post them on days that I don't post full length videos, but I posted a short, it was like 10 seconds long and I found fake Squishmallow cow hug me's on Amazon and they were like, Oh, like $15, I think. So I bought one, you guys. I bought one. So I will show you guys them right now. I'll show you guys pictures and that little YouTube short. I'll show you guys so you guys can guess which one you think I got. Fake hug me cows. They're kind of cute, kind of derpy. I think I'm going to get the blue one. I don't know. I think I want to do it. So this is a listing. I found it under... And here they are. Here's some pictures of them. They're pretty cute. Here's the strawberry cow hug me. Her little attributes are a cute face, strawberry embroidery, and white fleece. So she has like a fluffy belly, which is so cute. They are like almost 12 inches, which is crazy. And look at this cute picture of them. I want to hug you. Can I? And she's like, sure. This is so cute, you guys. We should totally ship them. Anyways, here's the blueberry version. So cute. Again, they have the same attributes. I have to say, though, that the fleece looks really nice and so does the embroidery. Same size. They didn't have any different sizes available. Apparently, it's a great kawaii home decoration. It's a children's growth companion and warm a company. Yep. Uh, this is the brand. They're using the cute little hug me's as like little logos. And then here are the reviews, but these are for the fuzzy strawberry cow. So no reviews for the hug me's. And then while searching for this, I found this blueberry cow. Um, it's like an elongated version, like, oh my gosh, but this one has different spots. It has the same attributes, except it has a long tail. And look at this. The cow's body is very soft. But what is she doing? Why is he like, like that, dude? And then apparently they're so cute. I'm really excited about these though, so which one do you guys think I got? Because I kind of had a hard time deciding. They were pretty cheap though. I'm really excited because I only have a couple cow hug me's and they're only ones I've found in person. I've never bought any of the cow hug me's online because they're really expensive. And sadly, I haven't found a lot of my cow hug me dreams like Patty and Kaden, etc. But if this cow is really cute, even though it's a fake one, you know, like, you know, maybe I'll buy the other one because they might be cute. I bought a couple fake Squishmallows before. It came very flat, you guys. The other ones I bought before, I've been pretty, you know, okay with. Like, you know, I buy them knowing they're fake, but usually I buy them because they're cute creative ideas that Squishmallows hasn't done yet. So I'm really excited for this. And let's just get into it. There might be a second part to this if I end up liking this fake cow hug me. I'm just as excited as this little guy on the package. So it is from Amazon and I was just browsing because my friend sent me a picture and a link of this really cute like mushroom cow. Um, I'll try to find the picture, but she sent me the link and then like a day and a half later It's when I checked it out and the link was gone like and I couldn't find the squish anywhere, but I did come across these guys so It worked out. I still want that other one, but we'll see. I Can't believe it's super flat This has to be it though. Oh my gosh, it is. Can you look in there? Okay, look at watch this reveal Look at his face Oh my gosh, it's actually kind of cute. I mean, he's all flattened. He's actually pretty big too. He's kind of the size, um, what does it say? Okay, it doesn't say what size he is, but I think he's like 10 inch maybe, you know, or eight inch, whatever the regular size hug me's are. All right, I guess we gotta get him open. I need to find my scissors first. All right, I actually don't need my scissors. There's a tear strip. Oh my gosh. So he probably is going to be a little bit flat. But hold on, let me fluff him up a little bit. He's actually really cute. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna speed this part up because it's just gonna be me doing this for a while. <laughs> okay, his head needs a little bit more stuffing. You know, I think if you get these eyes and put more stuffing in them, they'll be way better. Okay, so he's definitely not as cute as regular Squishmallow Hugmies, but he's actually kind of adorable. <laughs> he looks really stupid though, but like, he's really cute. Um, Like, I actually really don't mind it. Like, you guys are gonna be like, it, it clearly doesn't look like a real cow hug me which i'll go grab my balana hug me which is about the same size so we can compare but i think it's still really cute you guys i mean it has a fuzzy belly too and little blueberries 
This is an idea that Squishmallows has not done. Why have they not done a blueberry cow, Squishmallow? They got super close with Nightingale, but they could have just added blueberries on its tummy and it would have been perfect. They didn't. They were cowards. Um, they need to do like a fruit cow squad. I would love that. I'm predicting that. I'm coining that. I talked about it like probably two months ago already, but anyways, this guy is really cute, but let me bring out my Bellana and we can compare. All right, you guys. So here is Bellana and here is the fake one. You can definitely see a difference, but they're still cute. Like, I still think he's funny. He's a little derpy. But again, if you put more fluffing, fluffing, if you pour, okay, I'm going to leave this in here because I want you guys to know that sometimes it literally takes me like 10 times to say one thing. So if there's a lot of like cuts in a certain video, it's because I had to say something like four times, like you just witnessed me saying. So anyways, off track, forgot what I was talking about, but I'm saying if you put more stuffing in him, I think he would look a lot cuter. The only problem that makes him look more derpy is their nose isn't as like 3d as the regular cow hug me's. but like other than that again with more stuffing i think it would be perfect i don't know <laughs> see this is why i do these videos so you guys now know not to get them if you like actually are looking for a squish that looks like this but i'm still i'm still liking this guy i mean he's really cute they are always flat but i don't know so <laughs> That's the comparison. This is the size I was talking about. So this guy's a little bit longer. He's actually pretty big, actually, compared to her. But so cute, you guys. I'm actually going to get a big version of Fuzzy Belly Bologna very soon from a subscriber. So I'm really excited. That's going to be a video while I'm on vacation, which I'm leaving this weekend. So you guys will get a few pre-recorded videos. But I'm really excited, you guys. I'm going to talk about it for a second. Because since this is a shorter video, I can kind of like have more of me talking about like what I'm going to do. So I'm leaving this weekend and I'm going to Learning Express again, you guys. I'm super excited. So that's going to be a video coming out probably next week if I end up editing on vacation. And there's also going to be potential snowstorms while we're there. So that is why I mean potentially editing. If we stay somewhere where I have my own separate room, then I can definitely edit. But anyway, so that's gonna be really fun, you guys. And then I saw this leak. I will show you guys a picture. And they have the new Alexi, like, five-inch cow plushes at the Circus Circus Claw Machines at Las Vegas. So I go to Circus Circus in Reno, which is where I'm going, and they usually have the same squish in their claw machines. So I'm really hoping that they have Alexi there because that would be great, you guys. You will get that video. If they do have her, that'd be really fun, you guys. Oh my gosh. And speaking of, I still haven't posted the second part of the last time I went to Circus Circus and Reno and everything. So you guys will probably get that video as well as like a pre-record video. So we'll see. But sorry, I'm talking too much, but I'm really excited because like I'm going to Learning Express again. That's where I found, luckily, this beautiful cow. My first cow I found in store like cow hug me i did find perny the longhorn from last year's easter squish but like this is different because it's a cow not a longhorn cow but i'm so excited so hopefully i have some really good luck finding the new hug me's at Lane express and there's so many cuties so hopefully that's gonna be really fun so you guys can look forward to that video but for this video it's basically over i will do a slight little review on this guy up close but you guys can see the difference this guy does have a tail it is definitely bigger than Bellana's tail. <laughs> That's a bit weird of a comparison. Um, but I, I mean, again, he is derpy, but I think he's cute. I really do. What do you guys think of him down below? Let me know. <laughs> but let's get into his review, I guess. Look at his floppy arms. Again, more stuffing, and I think he would look way better. He would look way better. So maybe I should like, you know, cut him open and put more stuffing in him like please let me know what i should do because it might work out it might be cute so anyways let's do the review all right you guys so here is the review of this squishmallow cow hug me so cute again i think it was like 15 something dollars on amazon and in between shots i figured out that he has a little bit of a derpy face especially because his eye right here as you can see rests like right above his little nose but this one is just totally 
not. As you can see, it's definitely a <laughs> little bit off to the side, so he doesn't look derpy just because of his stuffing, he just looks derpy because of his face. I mean, how did I not notice that? But again, here is the comparison. Yeah, definitely not, you know, a suitable one to get if you guys really wanted a Squishmallow Cow Hug Me. But if you guys like the design, I think it's still pretty cute. And as you can see, the fuzzy bellies look really nice. Like, this one feels a little bit nicer, but this one's still really soft, nice looking. And even the embroidery of the little blueberries is really good. Like, look at that quality. I mean, it's not bad. Again, it's just the stuffing and, like, his face, obviously, and then the nose, because that is the problem, as you can see. This boy is a little bit flat-faced compared to an actual cow hug me, and they are a bit taller than this size, but again, pretty similar. I mean, you know, <laughs> pretty derpy, but yeah. So, since this guy does not have a name or bio, I would love if you guys would let me know down below any name suggestions or bios, because they're really cute. I mean, obviously something that has to do with blueberries or... I don't know. I mean, it could be anything, really, but I think it's really cute, though. I mean, like, even the different color fabric on the horns and the spots, like, the detail is there. It's just, you know, derpy, like, with the face. I don't know how they messed it up that bad, but they did. And the nostrils as well. Like, I don't know why they make the nostrils, <laughs> like, rectangles, but yeah. And here is his tail. There is a spot on the back, which is pretty cute, but otherwise it's pretty plain on the back and a huge massive seam going up it. They honestly look like a Squishmallow if you just like ran over them or something or if you just were beating them up. You know, okay, that looked wrong. <laughs> that looked wrong. He's beating him up. See, ugh. Mm. Mm. Anyways, you know, in that context, he's beating him up, right? And then so he's just flat on the ground. Yeah, I might cut this part out of the video. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just trying to say he looks very flattened, but again, cute and derpy. So I don't know. It's hard to say. Obviously, I don't recommend it. It does not look like a Squishmallow. I mean, some of the other fake Squishmallows like actually kind of look like the real one, but this guy is not it. But if you guys want a cute blueberry cow plush, then this guy is right up your alley, especially if you like little derpy guys, because I think he's cute. He has a lot of character, and I love him. So for creativity, I'd give him like a 10 out of 10. I love it. I even love that they have a fuzzy belly that is super cute. But for like actual looks and quality, I'd give it like a 5 out of 10. But like cuteness meter, I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. So you guys average that out. I suck at math, but that is my ratings for this guy. So... Let me know, how do you guys feel about the fake Squishmallow cow hug me that I came across on Amazon? Alright you guys, so that was that cutie, don't know what to name him, he's very tall, very slender. Anyways, that was that cute little elongated blueberry cow guy. I like him, I don't know. Alright you guys, so that was the video. Again, it was short for this guy, but I was talking about a lot of other things that are going on in my life right now and what's about to happen for the channel, like what videos I'm going to post. So if my video posting is a bit off in the next week or so, that is why I am out of town. And again, hopefully they have a Lexi in the claw machines at Circus Circus in Reno. I'm not sure, but they also have a lot of other cuties in that squad, I think. So I'm really hoping they have her and we'll see. So make sure to subscribe if you guys are interested in seeing that. But anyways, don't forget to leave a like, and again, comment down below what you guys think about this guy. His eyes are so funny to me. He's so derpy, but I think his design is cute. Like, imagine Squishmallow is actually making a blueberry cow hug me. Like, right? The designs are always cute for them, they just always can't make them the best. But I think fake Squishmallows, like, you know, I like them. I don't know. Hot take, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Should I get the other one, the strawberry cow? Let me know. Bye.